I'm Dr. Chaitra Nayak. I work for Millen the Fertility Center at Bangalore, Kumara Park. Today we'll be discussing about social egg freezing. Now this is a hot topic for women, especially in this day and age, because we believe as fertility specialists that no woman should be robbed of the opportunity to become a mother just simply because she does not have the time or the right partner and she should not as well compromise on her career growth or her opportunities as a woman. All girls when they are born they have a fixed number of eggs. With each period that a girl gets the number of eggs start declining. And once a girl or a lady reaches 35 years, there's a drastic reduction in the number of quality and the number of eggs that we have. The chances of pregnancy as such also come down as the lady ages and it almost reaches a rock bottom once she becomes 40 years. We as fertility specialists want to increase the chances of a lady becoming pregnant and having a healthy child and therefore we try using the pause button on her fertility not compromising on her growth as a lady and a career woman. Now how do we do it? The method that we opt for is known as social egg freezing wherein we try getting eggs in a lady who is in her late 20s or her early 30s. We get them out in a procedure similar to an IVF procedure we store the eggs in a process called vitrification that means we just freeze the eggs but the eggs are of the same quality as when they were frozen. Now how do we go about doing a social egg freezing or an egg freezing as such? The lady should be first investigated to see if her number and quality of eggs are good. These would involve a few blood tests done on the second day of her period also a scan done on the second day of her period. A gynecologist or a fertility specialist will talk to the lady regarding the reports on the second day and then discuss about the various options. The best option for a lady who does not have a partner as such or she does not have the time to become a mother would be to go for freezing of her eggs. These would include a few injections probably um, given every day for 10 to 12 days a few scans done every two to three days once and then doing an egg collection under sedation. We hope for at least around 10 to 12 eggs which would ensure that at least six to eight embryos are formed which would give her a realistic chance of pregnancy. Factors that one should know about egg freezing. Important factors are uh, as the age advances the quality of the eggs come down. So it would be wise to, to go for an egg freezing in your late 20s or your early 30s so that you have a good chance at pregnancy. So if you are less than 35 it would be a great option for freezing your eggs. Other thing is when did your mom attain menopause? If she attained a menopause earlier on then you should be thinking of egg freezing a bit early on. Also the number of kids you are planning to have if you are older and you want more than one child it would be wise probably to go for more than one cycle of egg freezing. Not all frozen eggs will give rise to a pregnancy. Suppose we have 10 eggs frozen we may realistically have 8 to 10 eggs which come back after you know cutting them to the normal temperature which may give us 6 to 8 embryos which may God willing give us 2 to 3 pregnancies. So that is the option if you have less number of eggs or you have poorer quality of eggs you may need to have more than one cycle of egg freezing. So these are the few important factors that you should know about egg freezing. Egg freezing the benefits of egg freezing is it gives you a pause button on your fertility without compromising on other aspects of your life. You can continue leading your life without you know worrying about becoming a mother, without worrying about giving up your options if it, is it an offsite option going to a different country uh, pursuing a definite career goal which you are given an opportunity to. If you are not willing to be a mother right now you could always freeze your eggs and plan for a baby later on even if you don't have a partner right now it does not force you does not not having a partner does not mean that you have to choose whatever is available and go become a mother you don't have to do that you can always freeze your eggs 
find out the right partner, understand whether that partner is the right person to become a father for your baby and then decide to go ahead with it. So that's a great option if you have uh, you know, work constraints or you don't have the right partner, social link freezing would be a good answer for it. So the take home message for social link freezing would be if you are a career oriented lady who is worried about becoming a mother or worried about her biological clock ticking away and do not want to become a mother right now for either career or due to other constraints then please do think about social egg freezing because it gives you a great opportunity to become a mother as and when you want to be a mother.